Hey, I'm Mike Slater, host of the podcast Politics by Faith, filling in for the great Bill O'Reilly. It is Wednesday, December 21st, 2022. You're listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. Fewer families donate to charity. A third of Americans say violence against the government is justified. Cigarette sales rise for the second time in the last 20 years. And a study ranks the most obese states in the country. Also coming up, the message of the day about people's perceptions of reality and how far off they are. But first, a report from the Wall Street Journal finds just 45% of Americans plan on giving to charity this Christmas, the lowest level in two decades. Pretty remarkable, though, that 45% is the lowest. I wonder if any other country gets even close to that. Economists blame the historic drop on inflation. A third of households say they're scaling back on gifts during the holidays. 25% have reduced the number of guests this Christmas. The average family now spends an extra $500 per month because of high prices for fuel and food. A survey from the Washington Post and University of Maryland showing 34% of adults believe violence against the government is sometimes justified. That figures up 21 points since the mid-1990s. 22% say armed resistance is appropriate to protect personal liberties. 15% think it's appropriate to defend themselves from a military takeover. A third of young voters predict another civil war will occur in their lifetime. A quarter expect one state to secede from the Union. Ooh, which will be the first? More Americans picked up smoking in 2022. The sale of tobacco rising for the second year in a row. In total, adults consumed 200 billion cigarettes last year. Wow. Experts are saying that the rise in the habit is due to the rise of financial anxiety. Marlboro executives say more Americans lit up last year because of boredom and depression. Cigarettes, not the only vice used in 2022. The sale of alcohol also up 10% since COVID hit in 2020. And in California, there's a bill now to legalize psychedelic mushrooms because this is all really healthy and great. A new survey from Wallet Hub revealing the most rotund states in the U.S. 70% of adults nationwide are overweight. A quarter considered obese. The worst places include Kentucky, Kentucky, West Virginia, Alabama. Title of the most obese goes to Mississippi. 40% of people in the Magnolia State are 30 pounds overweight or more. The slimmest citizens in America can be found in Utah and Colorado. The message of the day Moments away. Frustrated at the high price of heating your home this year? You're not the only one looking for ways to save money this winter while staying warm. Now you can do that with the Eden Pure Gen 40 heater. I've had my Gen 40 and it's made quite a difference keeping rooms warm. This infrared heater is guaranteed to start saving you money on your heating bills as soon as you turn it on. Heats up the room very quickly. Plus, Gen 40 heater owners are reporting massive savings on heating bills, and it's very safe around the pets and kids. Eden Pure is having a hard time even keeping this product in stock because of the astonishing demand. Right now, you can get $50 off the sale price when you use discount code BILL50. Heating bills are only going to get higher. So please go to EdenPureDeals.com. Put in discount code BILL50 to get 50 bucks off. That's EdenPureDeals.com. Discount code BILL50. Shipping is free. Hey, I'm Mike Slater, host of the podcast Politics by Faith, filling in for the great Bill O'Reilly. Now it's time for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. People's perception of reality are way off. My favorite polls are the polls where they ask a question, then tell the person the truth, And then ask the question again. (laughs) So here's an example. Uh, Step one, do you support the border policies at our southern border that are in place today? And a majority of people say yes. Okay, then step two, you get a sense of their perception of reality. So you ask, how many border crossings by illegal immigrants do you think there are every year? 75% of people said guessed less than 1 million. Less than a million. 75% of people said less than 1 million. 16% of people said less than 100,000. So this is where you give them the truth. And the truth is 2.75 million. At least we know of 1 million gotaways 
Those are the people we know who got away. We have no idea the unknown gotaways. So we're almost at 4 million. Then, finally, step four, you ask the person, given these numbers, now that you know the truth and you're not basing your opinion off of your feelings, should the administration keep these open border policies or have stricter policies? And once people know the truth, now, magically, 67% say they would support stricter border policies. A complete flip from like 20 seconds ago. Most people just have a made up movie in their brain about what goes on at the border. And we just make up whatever makes us feel good. And then that's kind of the end of our thinking about it. But if you live in El Paso, Texas, where a thousand illegal immigrants, not migrants, by the way, migrant implies they come here to work on the farm for the season and pick some fruit. And then a couple months later, go back to Mexico. These are illegal immigrants. 1,000 a night in El Paso. You know, the mayor of New York City said they've taken in 32,000 illegal immigrants this year and they need a billion dollars to take care of these people because they're so overwhelmed. New York City, the biggest city in the country. If New York City is overwhelmed with 32,000 illegal immigrants in a year, population 9 million, imagine little old El Paso, Texas, 700,000 people, and they take in 1,000 in a night. But no one outside of El Paso and cities like it know the truth. Better to ignore it. Similarly, if you ask people, what percentage do you think is a fair income tax? The average answer is 31%. Then ask people how much they think the rich pay in taxes, income tax. And the, the average guess is about 20%. So lower than what they think is fair. And then you tell them the truth, 40%. <laughs> They're like, oh, what? Abortion is the ultimate example. Ask people if they support abortion. Most people shockingly believe the nice thing to say is yes. And then you show them what this actually entails, what a baby in the womb looks like and all the rest. And people are like, oh, no, I don't, I don't support that. Well, you do, though. Out of ignorance, you do. Imagine just with these three examples, how much different our country would be if people knew the basic facts. The question is always asked, how can Republicans win the hearts and minds of voters? We can start by making sure people know the truth. By the way, in the first asking of the question, how many illegal immigrants came into America last year? Only 6% got the right answer. That's about how many people are informed about anything at any given time. That's why it's so important for you to know the truth. And once you know it, to spread the word. Coming up next, something you might not know about the origins of Barbie. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates are skyrocketing, as you know. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, predicting recession. So to protect your future, do what I did. Call the only precious metal dealers I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. You can get started with a short phone call. They will place physical gold and silver right at your door or inside your IRA or 401k. They are the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Don't wait. You can call them now. 877-444-GOLD. 877-444-GOLD. Or text GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Hey, this is Mike Slater from the podcast Politics by Faith, filling up for Bill O'Reilly. Now it's time for something you might not know. Barbie started out as a call girl. And maybe not a prostitute is a little far, but something close to that. A floozy. Maybe the best word would be a gold digger. Barbie started out as a gold digger. I'll explain in a second. But first, why do I bring this up? Uh, you may have heard that American Girl dolls, you know, American Girl dolls, the beginning of those dolls, it was 1986, was to have a doll with a connection through different periods of history. So each doll had a backstory that would teach the little girl about history. Very nice. Uh, the, the person who came up with it came up with the idea after a trip to Colonial Williamsburg and realized that all the dolls for girls were babies. So she said, hey, let's make a doll of little girls for little girls and tie it back to history. The founder, her name was Pleasant Roland. Her real job was a children's textbook writer. 
So her passion was to teach girls how to read, and the dolls were merely a means to get kids to read. It's great. Well, now American Girl has a new book out called Body Image with this gem of a line. If you haven't gone through puberty yet, American Girl Dolls says to little girls, the doctor might offer medicine to delay your body's changes. So puberty blockers, giving you more time to think about your gender identity. So this whole book is full of transgender ideology presented to girls as young as 10. American Girl Dolls is now owned by Mattel, which just released a transgender Barbie. So this is America 2022. Transgender Barbie and an American Girl doll pushing transgender lies to children. Super. Which brings us to the origin of Barbie. She started in Germany in the late 1940s as a cartoon character named Lily, a gold digger who seduced rich men. It was an adult comic strip. In one of the comics, she was wearing a bikini on the sidewalk, and a policeman told her this was illegal. And she said, oh, and in your opinion, what part should I take off first? The cartoon was so popular, they made a novelty doll of Lily. It was sold in adult bookstores and tobacco shops. Adults would give them as like a gag gift, bachelor parties, and hang them from car rear view windows. And then in the 50s, one of the founders of Mattel, Ruth Handler, went to Europe, bought a few of the dolls, and in 1958, marketed towards kids in America. My point is, be careful out there. There are people battling for the hearts and minds and imagination of your kids. You can't trust toy makers, even American Girl dolls. They're trying to sell your daughter a lot more than a doll. More coming up. There is a concerted effort to intimidate and silence conservative thinkers, rewrite American history, and replace our God-given individual liberty with big government controls. The very freedom secured by our Constitution are now being threatened by the most liberal leftists our nation has ever seen. But there are plenty of patriots with the courage to stand up to the far left. AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens, is the leading conservative advocacy and benefits organization in the USA. AMAC members have access to money-saving benefits, a robust website, and mobile app and a magazine filled with all kinds of great content. So please join AMAC today at amac.us and tell them O'Reilly sent you. That's A-M-A-C dot U-S. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update and thank you, Bill, for letting me fill in. Politics by Faith is my podcast. I'll see you there, but also see you right back here tomorrow.